In this demo, I will first introduce you to our LCR meter, the Rodion Schwarz LCX200, followed by our impedance analyzer, the MFIA from Zurich Instruments. This demo will help you determine the best instrument for impedance measurement. In this example here, I have connected the text fixture LCXZ1 to the LCX200. This fixture is ideal for lead type devices. My component under test is loaded into the spring-loaded insertion slots of the Z1 fixture. Different operating conditions such as frequency, test signal level, and measurement range can be set using a high-resolution capacitive touchscreen. You can directly read four of the measurement parameters simultaneously, and each value is displayed up to five digits of resolution. This component here acts as a register at a set frequency of 4 Hz. Let me change the frequency to 200 kHz now. Now, I press the auto hard key on the LCX200. As you can see, this auto feature can directly detect the nature of the component at a given frequency, which in this case is an inductor. Hmm, now do you need a current bias for the inductor? The LCX200 has an optional DC internal bias current shows up to 200 milliampere, which can be enabled with option LCX K108. Let's add some DC bias current to our inductor now. Let's enable the current bias by pressing the bias enable key, which lights up to indicate that the bias is active. Let me deactivate the bias now and show you some additional functionalities of our LCX200. An excellent starting point for choosing an LCR meter is the reactance chart provided by the manufacturer. This chart displays the impedance accuracy that you can expect for set operating conditions. The coolest feature that I personally like a lot about our Rodin Schwarz LCX is the absolute impedance and accuracy and phase accuracy are displayed directly on the screen. The LCX200 can support up to a maximum frequency of 10 megahertz The phase angle now is reduced to minus 87 degrees, and this component starts functioning as a capacitor. I have given you a quick walkthrough on how to measure resistors, capacitors, and inductors using LCR meter. Earlier in this webinar, Elizabeth gave you a lot of information about transformer testing. What if you want to do transformer measurements? The LCX Z5 transformer test cables are a perfect measurement accessory for this purpose. Simply follow the circuit diagram printed on the test fixture when connecting the transformer. And press the transformer mode key to read the turns ratio and the mutual inductance values off of the LCX screen. LCR meters are ideal for component R&D and component testing, offering impedance measurements between 1 milliohm and 100 megaohm. However, in some cases, such as material science, impedance can be very high, sometimes even up to 1 teraohm. In such applications, the impedance analyzer, MFIA, could be a right fit for you. It also has a very high data acquisition rate and is therefore ideal for sensors and microfluidic applications. MFIA comes with Lab1 instrument control software, MFI TF test fixture, and empty DC carrier for the mounting devices. For the purpose of this demo, I have connected same LCX Z1 fixture to the MFIA with the same component. Due to the standard 22 mm spacing, all LCX test fixtures are compatible with MFIA. Now let's take a quick look at Lab1 tool control software which provides a graphical user interface on any web browser. Lab1 tool offers flexibility to choose either two or four terminal equivalent measurement modes. And versatile options for 
measurement parameters. Here I have selected series resistance and inductance as our measurement. Under measurement control, you can input the measurement frequency, and the desired test signal voltage. The current and voltage ranges are automatically adjusted to ensure maximum precision in every scenario. All measurement results are visible on the right hand side based on the set operating conditions. On the calibration tab, various compensation modes are available, such as short load, load, short, load, load, load. Before moving further, let me load the already saved settings file for the current setup. The numerical tool here displays all measurement values and parameters, such as impedance and frequency, also my series resistance and inductance are available here. It is freely configurable with only a few mouse clicks. You can decide which parameters are relevant for display. Now, do you want to see beyond numbers and analyze impedance changes in the time domain? The plotter function of MFI is here. This function helps you to track the signal changes in real time with a time resolution of up to 10 microseconds. And you can directly read of the mean and the standard deviation of the measurement. This is a very useful feature to check the warm-up of the device and to see if the device is otherwise changing with time. For instance, in sensing applications. As previously mentioned, MFIA comes with fast and convenient sweep functionality. The sweeper function here allows continuous sweeps of parameters such as frequency and bias. The start and stop frequency, accuracy and the number of points can be set under the control tab. You can choose the desired sweep speed under the settings tab. Let's now run the single sweep for the dot. Please note that here I'm using the log scale for the display. After measurement is finished, you can easily transfer all results from lab one in different formats such as MATLAB, ZView, and CSV. A single click here can also save the sweeper chart as vector graphics. With the sweep tool, the behavior of the dot with the variation in the frequency is easily identified. The component behaves as an inductor at 200 kilohertz and the capacitor at 3 megahertz. MFIA also includes ancillary tools such as an oscilloscope to help you with the measurements.
the current or voltage over the sample can be directly read and displayed in real time. It is a very useful feature when testing sensitive components such as biological samples and thin films that cannot tolerate very high currents. In this case, both current and voltage traces can be added simultaneously. This is due to the digitizer option installed on my MFIA. With this, I end the demo on both the LCX and the MFIA. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Thank you for your attention.